This is our Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional Halftime Show. Special playoff edition of the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional Halftime Show. Guess what? Last time the Colonels won a playoff game, it was in 1986. How could we not welcome back a Colonel great quarterback of the 1986 Colonels, a man who is the all-time leading record holder in most passing yards in Nichols history? Doug Hudson, you're back in Colonel country. Welcome back to Thibodeau. Uh, thank you, Brian. It's great, great to be here. And, uh Man, just the excitement around the school, uh, what Coach Rebo's done is exciting. The guys that he's brought in, um, the vision that he had, and then to see it come to fruition up in Western Tennessee, it's been nice to watch it. Uh, it's good to be back. Um, it feels like old times. I'm, it's brought back such great memories, and, and I think the greatest thing is are the relationships with people uh, that are, you know, it's 32 years ago. It's kind of like, oh, my gosh, but... Uh, a lot of great relationships, and I, and I see these guys building, you know, what they've built is really special. Doug threw for 7,640 yards in his Colonel career. You had some pretty nice weapons around you. You had Mark Carrier, you had Oscar Smith, you had Lionel Vital. you had a lot of weapons on the field. What was it about that era of Colonel football that, that led to such greatness? Well, we had uh, the, the coaching staff, we had a lot of different great coaches, but they brought in great players. And then, uh, you know, football's about uh, X's and O's and Jimmy and Joe's, but it's also really, in my opinion, about family. It's about love. And so you, you think about what does that mean? Well, sometimes that's not, I say friendly, it's, it's bringing the best out in each other. And, and that's what I see happening here, and that's what happened then. Uh, you know, we had guys, there's a lot of talent in, in South Louisiana, and I was one of two guys, well, there's only two guys from out of state. We had local talent, and they're, they're players here. And the coaches develop the players, and you see that's what's going on now with Coach Rebo. He's developing guys, and it's so exciting to see guys uh, believe and then actually achieve what they set out to do. And so, uh, you know, I believe in, I mean, there's belief and there's experiences, and what Re- Coach Rebo's done is he's started with the belief, and then they've created an experience. And so the guys, it's, this is a, I, you know, I, it's an education for a lifetime. So, uh, you know, I, I like the Colonel for Life thing. These guys will never forget the bond they have right now. Doug Hudson was a 1987 seventh-round selection of the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the, the win against Appalachian State in 86, it, it's a, a playoff win that, of course, Nichols is, is trying to reachieve. They're trying to get a win today against San Diego, and that would be the second postseason win in the history of Nichols football. What do you remember most about that postseason win against App State? Well, it, that was really, as I, as I think of it, that was just another game. And so we were on a roll, and uh, it was just another game. So the, we were focused on a process then. So we weren't really focused on outcomes. Um, so that, they were a good team. We were a good team. We made some mistakes. Uh, we won the game. You know, it was the next game we played against Georgia Southern. Uh, they had a quarterback net by the name of Tracy Ham, who was legendary. That was, we had a hard time stopping him. And um, so, you know, that, that was a... They, they went on to win the national championship, and they deserved it. Um, so, But it was a great year. I, I do believe uh, this Nichols 2018 team has a chance to go really deep in these playoffs. And I really – I talked to Chase yesterday. I got to meet him. It was a lot of fun. And I, I said, Chase, you know where Frisco is, Frisco, Texas? <laughs> and he looked at me and he said, he said, yeah, Coach, we're going to be there soon. And I, I love that about him. Uh, you know, I, I – his high school coach, Jay Roth, and I played together in, in, in the 80s, and, and Jay did a good job coaching Chase, but I just love when I first saw him play against Georgia, I don't think there's any stage that's too big for Chase, and I love that. That's his greatest attribute, you know, and he's a player, and he's getting better, uh, and I think he's going to have an opportunity, um, but he, he's getting better right now in his protections. We talked to, I talked to Coach Christopher a little bit about that yesterday. You know, there's, th- th- I think, three things you really need to – a lot of things you need to know as a quarterback. But you got to know patterns, um, uh, your progressions and protections. And so – and Chase is – I've seen his improvement and taking care of the ball just the last four weeks. If you look at his stats, he's getting better. Yeah. And the team's getting better. And he has players around him, you know. And that's what's – football is not golf. It's, it's – as a quarterback, you need players. You need not one receiver but two – not one running back, maybe two or three. You need a great head coach. You need a great defense and a great offensive line. If you have all those things, you're going to be pretty good. Um, Chase has those things with his own ability to find a way to win. He's, he's, a, he's a competitor, and I've loved watching him play, and I'm excited for him. 
And, uh, and, I, and I told him, I said, man, thanks. You, you brought my name up to my adult daughter. My daughter's like, dad, look, what, what is this? And, you know, and I'm like, hey. And so I, I'm grateful to the, you know, for what he's done. Doug Hudson and Chase 4K, the, the two greatest quarterbacks in the 46-year history of, of Nichols football. You've known Rob Christoffel, our offensive coordinator, for 15 years. Your wife, Ann, is friends with Chase 4K's mom, Jill. You, you've lived in, in Jackson, Tennessee, and been away from Nichols for a long time. This is your first visit back to Nichols since you were inducted into our Hall of Fame in 2010. How do you explain all of these crazy coincidences? Yeah, I don't know if they're explainable, but it's relationships with really good people. And, and um, you know, there's there's a connection to South Louisiana, and it, and it is it's home in a way. Um, you know, Ann's from Raceland. Um, I came to school here and fell in love uh, with Thibodeau. And the coaches that coached me, Coach Clark, Coach Brown, all the coaches I'm still in touch with. So they kind of raised me in a way. And I've, you know learned a lot I'm, I'm very grateful for my experience at Nichols and what it gave me and what I needed Nichols no doubt about it um, at that time and and it was great experience uh, we had some tough times in football we had some changes in coaching uh, but it all kind of came together we had some guys that stayed together for five years and uh, we worked really hard and then it paid off so the, the relationship still remain uh, pretty special that you and Chase 4K have, have been able to develop this bond. He is a game or two away from breaking your all-time passing record at Nichols. He's a little under 400 yards away from topping that 7,670-yard mark. He just passed you in total touchdowns a couple weeks ago. He's up to 70 touchdowns in his career. Uh, what's it been like to watch his career the last three seasons and get reintroduced to Nichols football? Well, I'm, I'm excited I'm excited when Coach Rebell came and they started throwing the football. I'm like, thank you, Lord. You know, throwing the football is a good thing. And to have Coach Christopher and just to talk to him about how he's open to input from his staff, you know, that's he's got four or five brains working on things instead of just one, and I applaud that. Um, and so I think everybody benefits. And when you throw the ball, good things happen. But they run the ball. So we run. It's equal. So you have to make a decision. What are you going to stop? You're going to stop the run? Fine. You're going to stop the pass? Fine. It's hard to stop both. You know, it really is. You have to make I – mean, defensive coordinators have to make a decision. And it's – I think he, they've made the complex simple. And that's where you see the beauty of athletic, athleticism in football come out with kids is they don't, they're not thinking, they're responding. And that's what – and I've seen – I mean, I'm happy for Chase. And, it, and Chase, you can see it, and I've just met him one time, but it's not about him. Yeah. It's about – the team, and that's leadership. So I, I couldn't be. I mean, I mean, he's been raised well. He's made good choices, uh, and he he's a player. He's a great player. So I'm 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 thrilled. You of course had a, a short NFL career, but to be drafted by an NFL team, it speaks to your success at Nichols. Mark Carrier, his records will never be broken at Nichols. Those are certainly established as, as top wide receiver in Colonel history. What an unbelievable NFL career he had. When we look at the 30-year arc between your era and the one that we're currently a part of, what similarities do you see from your playoff team and the one that Coach Rebo has established the last two years at Nichols? Um, I, I Believe it or not, when I was here at Nichols, uh, we were one of the first schools in college football to run a one-back offense and to send five receivers out in routes. So um, it was kind of – Joe Clark was here, and he was uh, real good friends with Lindy Infante, and they ran the Smash Series, 60 Series. It was a – we ran conversion and routes and changed routes, and it was kind of – it was a run-to-air, pass-to-air offense. So there are some similarities there, I think, in the offense. Um, defensively, my goodness, this is – these guys are good. Nichols right now, when I see them play defense, I'm just – it thrills me. Um they are up strong up front, and I think that that's the core of the defense. And then Mr. Amani, if I'm saying it yeah. right, he reminds me. I was thinking about him. He, there was a guy named Jerron Cherry who was an All-Pro free safety at Kansas City who, who was always around the ball, and I didn't know how he did it. But he was watching, and he would watch me and in practice and watch my feet and shoulders, and he knew where the ball was going. So Amani reminds me of a combination between him and a guy named Chuck Cecil, who would really just take your head off in Green Bay. So. But I see what he did the last week, and it thrilled me. I was like, he was basically playing receiver for the other team. He knew where the ball was going to be. Uh, but, I mean, that, the, the whole defense, they play great defense. They're coached well. Um, and that, 
that is helpful. So, uh, what a fun conversation with, with Doug Hudson, Colonel Great, uh, unbelievable career quarterback, and pretty special to think that it was 30 years ago this year you and, and your wife Ann got married on this campus. You met a local girl in Thibodeau, and, and here we are 30 plus years later. What a storybook! Yeah, well, it actually was. You know, I was involved in football, you know, and I, I was in Go Hall, and I saw this girl, and I th- it took my she took my breath. Ain't no doubt, she took my breath. I was like, holy cow! So, <laughs> uh, yeah, and and then in '87 I was drafted. We moved to Kansas City, and in '88 we were married. And then uh, when I moved her away to Kansas City, I, I don't know. Her dad, God rest his soul, has passed. I don't know if he's forgiven me yet, but uh, no, I love him to death. We, we moved away. <laughs> It was good for us to move to Kansas City, and then we moved back, and then we wound up moving to Tennessee uh, when I got a job up there, and um, which is where I'm originally from. But we love Louisiana, uh, the best food in the world, best people in the world. So we try to get back as much as we can. Doug has been a popular man today. I don't know how we were able to get you away from a bunch of your former teammates for, for a few minutes for this interview. I, I know you got to get back. It's, it's halftime, and there's a lot of conversations that can continue to be had. Doug, legend, uh, appreciate your active support in this university 30 years after your career concluded. You look good in all this Nichols gear you're wearing today. Enjoy the second half. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you for what you do. I mean, your excellence in interviews, and uh, I applaud you with the interviews with Brian Strapola, Lionel Vital, Oscar Smith, my teammates, uh, and their inductions, uh, and the the heartfelt what they went through and, and how you captured that and did your research on who they were, where they came from, and what they accomplished uh, was really amazing. So thank you for that. It's a special era. I'm glad we got to shout out all of those guys. It was unbelievable being reintroduced to their story, and, and, and the same with you. Uh, it, you know, we're not the Marines, but it's, it's once a colonel, always a colonel, and, and it's great to have you along. Doug Hudson, uh, if you don't hear this interview, we'll play it back for you on ESPN Radio New Orleans. All-time leading passer in colonel history, seventh-round draft pick of the Kansas City Chiefs, and here, back in Thibodeau, to watch the colonels as they get set for the second half against San Diego. This is Colonel Football, and this was your sports match. Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional Halftime Show. We're back for more on the Colonel Sports Radio Network.